I'm in the business of love, which is a pretty good business when you think about it. Bright-eyed couples, gushing with hope, come to me because they found someone who makes them so happy that they've decided to spend the rest of their lives together. And it's my duty as a wedding planner to make their wedding days even more wonderful than they could have imagined. Currently, I'm planning my cousin Emily's Christmas Eve wedding. And as you can see, the stress meter has passed a thousand. Oh, that's, that's not me. That's me. Sorry, I, uh, I, I, my purse broke and I'm already late. No. You don't care? Why am I telling you? No. And this is how I started planning the most insane wedding ever. Just some minor mishaps. Explain later. Just picking up the final touch to make this morning perfect. I'll admit, this is my first real wedding, and I need to avoid all distractions. Oh! Whoa! You... Sorry, what? Are you okay? Distraction. Yes! Sorry, uh, it was my fault. I should have been paying attention to where I was going. <laughs> After you. Hi there! Welcome to Cherry Beans, where a coffee will leave you with a smile. May I get you one of our seasonal coffees? Do you. At least I can do. You sure? Yeah. Thanks. Hey there. Welcome to Cherry Beans, where a coffee will leave you with a smile. May I get you one of our seasonal delights? You gotta say that every time, huh? Yeah, I'll get 12 coffees, uh, cream and sugar on the side, 12 muffins, and one of your famous blueberry scones. Thanks. Hey, hey, what do you think about a snowflake ice sculpture? That goes with my whole Winter Bliss name, right? Yeah, uh, I can look into it. Okay, yeah, and see if they make silver ice. Okay, I'll talk to you later. <clears throat> Hello. I'm hearing talk of ice sculptures. We are not hosting a wedding on a cruise ship. Please see that this does not happen. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. No problem. Okay. See you later. Okay, bye. Now, uh, don't you try and drink all these yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to. Thanks, pal. Thanks for letting me go ahead. No problem. Hi. Welcome to Cherry Beans, where a coffee will leave you oh, with a... No, it's, it's okay. I was here the first two times you said it. Um, can I please have one blueberry scone? Oh, I'm so sorry. I just sold the last one to that handsome gentleman. What? Really? We have a delicious cheddar and chive, or a seasonal white chocolate and cranberry. Oh, you don't understand. I need a blueberry scone. I can get you a blueberry muffin. I'm a fierce warrior. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, I was over there, and I was trying to buy one of the blueberry scones. Mm -hmm. They make the best in town. Yeah, right. Um, except you bought the last one. Okay, see, yeah, it's, it's not for me, and a therapist might say that I'm um, trying to buy someone's love, which may or may not be true. Either way, um, I need that scone, and I would love to buy it from you, and I will pay you double. You know, I'm really sorry. I can't. Triple. Not possible. Okay. $7 and this gift card to uh, I don't know where. But yeah, you can have the money and the mystery card. Let's go. What do you say? <laughs> I really wish I could. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I have a plain scone and blueberries for my lunch. I am 
well on my way to destroying my business before it even starts. Step one, arrive late at an engagement party that I am throwing. Step two, do not acquire a blueberry scone for sucking up. Step three, fail miserably, buy cats, spend the rest of my life shopping from television in middle of the night. Ha, here goes everything. Love you much, Liam. woman on the planet and the closest thing I've ever had to a sister stunning rich and oozing kindness I should probably hate her but <laughs> it's impossible oh it's incredible why are we whispering because no one's seen me yet oh, I want to make an entrance go and announce you're so funny okay go in there okay, okay quick hello Aunt Olivia sorry I'm late Tardiness does not suit a new business. Aunt Olivia. The very definition of rich and powerful. And the closest thing I have to a role model. I know, I'm, I'm sorry, my purse broke on me and then I tried to get you the blueberry scone. Nobody appreciates the charming tales of your mishaps more than I do. But it is time to greet our guests. <laughs> Absolutely, I agree. And I assume everything else is in order. 100%. The dress fitting is scheduled for Tuesday. We are set to bake the cookie giveaway with my friend Charles the Baker. I am prepping for the bachelorette party and I am finalizing with the caterer on Sunday. Well done, Kelsey. Thank you. I took the liberty of inviting Marianne Camp to do a piece on Emily's wedding. And despite my distaste for the woman, if you impress her, it's safe to say that your business will flourish. Wow, uh, thank you. That yeah. is that's so nice of you. And I promise I won't disappoint you. No, oh, you never do. The rare Aunt Olivia compliment. Except for that blueberry scone. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I tried to get... Luckily, someone else brought one. Who? Hello, everyone. Uh... I would like to thank you all for joining us this morning. We will be making a formal announcement in a little bit, but for now, I would like to present to you the bride-to-be, Miss Emily Wilson. Thank you for that, Kelsey. It was so kind and unexpected. How's this going? Oh, uh, it wasn't for me. It was her favor. <laughs> That's some sort of lucky guess. No, I did my research. It's part of my job, Kelsey. <laughs> so you knew who I was? Well, not for sure. I, uh, I saw some pictures. Old ones. What did you say your name was again? I didn't. Emily, Hi. you Hi. look incredible. Oh, please. I completely forgot this was happening today. <laughs> so you two have met? Yeah. Yeah, we met this morning at the coffee shop. She has $7. Yes, I do. Kelsey, a moment. Ah, uh, excuse me. So, this is happening. I want to introduce you to Marianne Kemp. She is the chief editor of WeddingsDuJourMagazine.com. Charmed. Pleasure to meet you. Kelsey is quite a firecracker. She just started her own wedding planning business and she's doing Emily's wedding. Ooh, you're a very brave entrepreneur, throwing your first wedding for your own family. You're gonna need a lot of luck. Well, I believe the harder I work, the luckier I'll be. That's a small business spirit I like to see. Now, Olivia told me that the ceremony is gonna be quite exclusive. Yes, immediate family only, followed by a grand reception. Tell me you have a great photographer. Only the best. Talented, artistic, and a very impressive portfolio. Do I know him? I don't know. Wow. Wow. Um, great. So give me the photos as soon as the wedding is over and an interview with the bride and groom, and I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Olivia. Well, you handled that 
Very well. Thank you. But can you handle that? Who is he? That, my dear, is the greatest threat to your business. How so? Connor McLean. Em Emily's ex, Connor McLean? One and only. Why is he here? Didn't he break her heart or something? Well, you could say that. Well, he could be planning to ruin Emily's wedding or your company or to steal all of our family money. I wouldn't put anything past him. Better take care of that. I'm on it. I am a fierce warrior. I like anyway, to... one second. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will be a polite fierce warrior and wait until he's finished talking. Before I knew it, I lost my pants. <laughs> it's so funny. One second. Sorry about that, Kelsey. What were you saying? Like you to leave. Sorry, what? Yeah, you can't just storm in here and then try to ruin Emily's perfect Christmas Eve dream wedding and then crush her heart again. Well, hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna crush your heart. We're friends now, okay? I just got into town and she invited me over for an eggnog. This conversation's not over. I would like to thank you all for joining us today in the celebration of my daughter Emily's engagement to her charming fiance, Todd. Todd Brannigan, the definition of charm. They met when Emily volunteered for his charity. Seems like a nice guy. He is. I only wish that um, my husband, Albert, were here today to um, celebrate with us. But I'm sure that he would be pleased to see all of your kind faces. So, join me in a toast to Emily and to Todd. Cheers. 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 Like, honestly, you have nothing to worry about when it comes to Emily and I. I promise. Good to know. But I can't promise the wedding won't be ruined. <clears throat> Ooh, great party. Wait, what? Mm. Hey. Oh, hi. Oh. Thank you. All right. Peace. Hey, wait a minute. Sorry, I gotta go. No, not the fact. You can't just say you're here to ruin a wedding and then just walk away. But I just did. You said you don't have feelings for Emily. I know. Okay, then what is your problem? You just don't want her to be happy? Look, here's the deal, Kels. Can I call you Kels? No, you may not. All right, the truth is, I'm a private investigator. I was hired to look into Todd, that's why I'm here. Okay, who hired you? Sorry, PI client privilege. You expect me to believe that some mysterious person hired you to ruin this wedding? Well, technically looking at Todd, but uh, ruining the wedding's a potential outcome if my client's suspicions are correct. Okay, well then you're out of luck, bucko. Uh, tell me I didn't just say bucko. Because I know Todd and he's a great guy, so. Well, then you got nothing to worry about, right? Yeah, I guess I don't. You know, if you want to make sure the wedding goes off without a hitch, you can always help me out. You can be a team. I am not helping you. All right. Have it your way, Kels. Just let off for an olive branch. I'm sure I'll see you around. Oh, and uh, if you change your mind, I'm going to be at George's. It's a little restaurant downtown. I'm, I'm not going to change my mind. Oh. Just an update. Engagement party went well, despite a small hiccup when Emily's ex showed up. About to supervise the wedding dress fitting. Yes, it might cost more than my home. Love you, Mopsley. Kelsey! You made it! Yes, and I brought the squad. Bridesmaids. The honor can bring out the best and worst in people. Hi. <laughs> the jealous bridesmaid. Wishes it was her wedding, Hi. describes everything as if it was hers. Seriously, Em? This is the exact same place I was gonna buy my wedding dress. Oh, well, great minds think alike. <laughs> oh, we're just in here, if you want. <laughs> the bitter bridesmaid. Recently divorced with bitterness still intact. 
Hi. No. It's not too late. We can still go to Fiji. Girls only. Oh, well, maybe. No, no, Fiji. We're just in there if you want to just get, go, go, go there. And of course, the lovely, but happens to be clumsy bridesmaid. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a uh, sizing out a cupcake in the car. Oh, it's, it's all good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Oh, advice. My mom still wants me to wear the Wilson dress. How do I sugarcoat ew so that I don't hurt her feelings? Traditional family dresses. Mothers love them, brides hate them. This one has been handed down from a few generations of Wilson women before us. For anyone taking notes, how you handle this situation can define you as a wedding planner. Okay, let me handle it. I'll sugarcoat it without her knowing. I'll say, you still have that one in mind, but you're gonna take this one as an option for backup. You're the best. <laughs> What did she say? Um, she said that was so sugar-coated it gave me diabetes. <laughs> oh. Um, I gotta take this. Yeah? So, yeah, I'll go now. Okay, 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 yeah. This is Kelsey. Hey, Kels. Giving more thought to my offer? Connor? See, you make a great PI sidekick. How did you get my... Never mind, uh... Look, I'm pretty busy right now, and I don't, I don't have time for this. Yeah, having the perfect dress is important. I just hope she gets to wear it. Think about my outfit. Is this everyone? Yeah. Oh, Kelsey. So for my wedding, I was thinking of having a tropical theme. Is that something you think you can do? Yeah, of course. When's your wedding? I don't have a date set yet. Or a boyfriend. But I will by December next year. Don't you guys just love Christmas weddings? Mm -hmm. Hey, what about Connor? I saw him at that party. I mean, I know he's a little bit of a dingbat, but does anybody know if he's single? Who's Connor? Uh, he's Emily's ex. Oh. <laughs> don't get me started on exes. Em met him at spring break. When she introduced him to Mama Olivia and Daddy Albert, they did not approve, which of course only made Emily fall harder for him. She talked about dropping out of school and moving in with him and everything. Really? I didn't know they were that serious. Yeah, they definitely were. And one day, out of the blue, Connor made an exit. No call, no text, no nothing. Just gone. <laughs> Poor Emily. Well, like the saying goes, give a guy your heart and he'll make out with your sister in a closet at a family reunion. Is that Nietzsche? Anyone want a cookie? I'll take it. Haha. You guys ready? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, here it goes. Oh. <laughs> I think even your mom's gonna forget about the Wilson dress. So, we settled. I love it. <laughs> Emily, you look beautiful. Oh, and in the same dress I wanted for my Christmas pudding. Oh, you just have it all. <laughs> a, a little tight on the hug. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So pretty. Thank you. Hello? Oh, don't. Come in, you can't see my dress. I promise, I'm not here to barge in on girl time. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, just a second. Here, you go in the dressing room and take this off and we'll go figure out what Todd wants. Okay. Is it safe? Yes, Todd. <laughs> wow. So, how's everything going? Great. Her dress is perfect. Oh, fantastic. Look, I'm not gonna stay. I just thought I'd stop by with a little surprise for all you lovely ladies. That's oh, thank you. you, Kels. You wanna hand them out? Yeah. Cool. Aww. Yes, thank you, Todd. Don't Very kind be of you. Silly. Anything to keep my girls happy. You make sure Em gets this? Yeah. Let her know extra love. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm running a little late. I gotta run.
See you guys soon. I've got to take this. It's a caterer. Hi, Marco. How's everything going? Look, it's going to kill me to fly in those lobsters. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Why are you... Why are you, why are you crying? What's this? No. What do you mean you can't do the wedding? Look, <laughs> I'm sorry that you and your wife are breaking up and a wedding would be too hard for you, but... You can't do this. You're cheating. Um, no, not you, sorry. Um, well, yeah, yeah, you. We did a deal. Marco? Something you liked? Maybe I should be asking you that. Yes. Emily loved the Stevenson dress. Perfect. So, is, is that a real Degas? Yeah. Actually, we got this at a shell. I love your place. Thank you so much for all your help. My pleasure. Hey, enough of this girly stuff. Can we please plan your bachelorette party? Look, all I care about is that I get to spend time with you girls. And the last thing I want is to be one of those women in t-shirts acting like it's her last night on <laughs> Earth. Oh, but isn't that what we already... Oh, found? no, we don't. Are those cookies from uh, Charles Bakery? He's making Emily's wedding cake. They sure are. I pick them up fresh every morning. Do you like one? No. Can okay, anyone? <laughs> Bye. Morning, Charles. Oh. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Charles, look, we went over this, okay? It's gonna be fine. And I really need your help on this one, okay? And I will owe you big time. I'm I'm a terrible liar. This isn't going to work. But you're not lying. But I already told Michelle that she could pick up her cookies from here instead of the bakery. Why would I tell her to come here? Why am I here? Because you are giving Emily and I a uh... private baking lesson. And uh, that's all true. I suppose so, but... <clears throat> just keep her here long enough so she steps away from her bag. I can do my thing, and then you just... Just send her on her way, okay? But my cookies, I... Her cookies are ready now. How do I tell her that her cookies aren't ready when they are ready? I'm only doing this so you don't have to lie. What, 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 what? What are you doing? Don't. No. <laughs> Charles, everything all right? He's fine, just had a little mishap with the ribbon. Oh, she's gonna be here in 10 minutes and that's not enough time. Wanna make some gingerbread? I'm ready. All right. Are you sure this is a good idea? I'm going to be giving my first ever attempt at gingerbread to every guest at my wedding reception. And the senator is going to be there. Well, that will just make them appreciate it more because it came from you. And besides, Charles will be here to make sure you don't make any mistakes. Morning, Charles. Sorry I'm a little early. Hi, Emily. And Kelsey, right? Michelle, what a nice surprise. Having a private class with Charles? He's the best, isn't he? The best. I'm so sorry, Michelle, to make you come all the way down here to pick up today's cookies. I know how strange that must be for you. Not really. You always have me come by if you have a private class, like last week, remember? I suppose I do. Well, um, your cookies are just about ready, and <clears throat> almost not, not ready. They're not, not ready. Well, Michelle, why don't you just take a walk or go freshen up or something while you wait for the cookies? I'm okay, thank you. They look like they're almost ready anyway. No, 
no, no, no, no, no, no. <sighs> this flour hasn't been sifted yet, and you cannot mix baking soda with flour that hasn't been sifted yet, and this bowl is made for wet ingredients only. What are you trying to do to me? Michelle, I am so sorry. It's just gonna be a few more minutes. No matter, I just have to call the shop and make sure Kendra can open for me. So sorry, I'm so clumsy. Uh, why don't you go wash up and I'll help Charles uh, clean this situation? I would rather you didn't. Thank you. Hey, gorgeous. Thanks for the hookup. Dinner on Wednesday at Turbo. Oh, oh, sorry. Hi. Right. Um, Hey, sorry, I just I just spilled flour everywhere and I got I got some on your purse. Oh, thank you. You didn't have to do that. You know what, Charles, I really have to get going. Do you think I could just take these as is? I Actually, think they look stunning. The ribbon hasn't really been curled yet, so if uh... I promise I won't get any one second. Thank you. But... Kelsey, never do that to me again. <sighs> can we start cooking? It's called baking, my dear. Baking. <laughs> now, gingerbread is not your average cookie. No, it holds a dark history that you must understand before you can create your own. Now, the, the Armenian monk, Gregory of Nicopolis, first brought gingerbread to Europe in the year 992. But this is where it gets interesting. You see, gingerbread is not a gingerbread cookie at all. No, in fact, it it's a comestible sweet loaf. Mm. Okay, here are my terms. I will help you look into Todd, and in return, you will tell me everything. No secrets. And if, and I stress, if we find anything, I will be the one to tell Emily, not you. So, clear? Yeah, that's so weird, because that was going to be my speech to you, word for word. Ugh. Hey, relax. I was kidding. Very well. <clears throat> How do we start PIing? Well, first grab a bite, because I'm starving, my lady's got to eat, and. This is the best food you're ever gonna have. Let me order you something. No, I'm here on professional terms and I can order my own food. Okay, well, I only suggested because I've had pretty much everything here. Well, how about I order your food for you? Okay. Hey, 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 Connor. Uh, I didn't know you were having a date. Oh, it's no, it's not a date. We're PIs. Okay, well, um, I will have whatever you're making back there. That smells so fantastic. And the gentleman will have the lobster. Lobster. You okay with that? Yeah, it's a professional meeting. I like to be accommodating. Professional, mm -hmm. accommodating. You. <laughs> <clears throat> First things first, who hired you? Can't tell me. What? We just said no secrets. PI code of conduct. Ah. Anything else, I'm an open book. Okay? So, what made you change your mind? Well, if, if Todd isn't who he says he is, then I want to help protect Emily. You two are close, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, what did you find? He has some unpaid parking tickets, stole a candy bar when he was nine. Wow, I thought you were, like, good at your job or something. <laughs> well, I guess not. But I did find a few leads that would suggest his family's not as well off as they say they are. Do you think he's after their money? Yeah, it's a concern. How not well off is he? I'm thinking bankrupt, but, um, I wouldn't know unless I got into his father's computer. You know, they're having a tree trimming party tomorrow night at their house. I'm guessing you're invited, right? Um, yes, I helped plan it. <sighs> Why? 
That's perfect, because I could go in there, check out his finances, okay? Hey. What a perfect idea you no. just had. Okay, sure, I'm just gonna waltz in there with Emily's ex-boyfriend and everything's gonna be fine, no one's gonna be suspicious. No one it's will... perfect. Really is. Really is. All right, I got the penne alibiata for the lovely lady and the fantastic lobster for you. Thank you, best friend. What are best friends for? Wow. <laughs> This is incredible. <laughs> I know. I mean, I made it myself. Of course, it's got to be good. I mean, hey, Italian. Italiano. Ah, che bella. <laughs> yeah, but I'm really seriously, but that means a lot. Thank you so much. No, seriously, this is amazing. Uh, have you ever considered catering a wedding? Mm, I've never done one, but I'm sure I could. I just have to talk to my partner. Uh, Connor, what do you think? Mm. Can we do a wedding? Yeah. I don't see why not. This is your place? Uh, mm -mm. Pump the brakes, sister. It's actually our place. Don't get it twisted, okay? Uh, of course, he's the money. I am the talent. Of course, the looks. The brains. And also, your server. Just hire somebody already, okay? Yeah. Enjoy your food and I'll let you keep discussing your PI work or whatever you're doing. Look good in that shirt. Oh, and uh, by the way, enjoy the lobster. Well, you are full of surprises. One or two. You're not eating? Um, I could, but I'm allergic to shellfish, so if I do, I'll, uh, I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, you wanna, you wanna switch? No, only if you wanna keep me alive. Okay, for now. Okay. Kelsey, my dear, I'm running a little late to the party. Oh, no problem. Uh, do you need me to do anything for you? Well, I'm trying to avoid having to listen to Tim and Linda talk about their boat for as long as I can. Will you make an excuse for me? Consider it done. <sighs> Not even sure how to explain what I'm about to do. I am waiting for someone who could potentially lead to the downfall of my first wedding gig. I send you this to assure you that, as always, I have no clue what I'm doing. Love you much, Lee. Please, after you. You say so? Come on. So where's the study? Upstairs. What? Okay, well, I gotta get on this computer. Actually, I can make this work. Follow my lead. Okay, uh, no, uh, I would like to remind you that I have an actual job to take care of here. Yeah, perfect. You can do a little job thing to distract them. You seriously just didn't say my little job thing? I did. Kelsey! Oh! oh uh, Glad you could make it. Good afternoon, Mr. Brannigan. Um, they have a lovely home. Yeah. Well, better be. Cost me a fortune. Yes, sir. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Connor. Kelsey's boyfriend. Nice to meet you. Oh, you as well. Mm -hmm. You have to forgive me. We're a little understaffed at the moment. I had to fire some of the help for stealing. The nerve of some people. I know. Who can you trust these days, huh? Exactly. Excuse me. Understaffed. This guy's broke. Um, hey. What? Boyfriend? Yeah, I thought it'd be the easiest. Why? What was your cover? Uh, I was gonna say, we're catering the party, you know, the truth. <laughs> that would have been good. Yeah. Well, it looks like everyone's busy here. Stand guard. I'm gonna go search the house. Cut! Cassie! Oh. 
remember Linda, my better half. <laughs> Hi, yes, of course. Hi, what a beautiful party. Ah, nothing but the best for our Todd. <laughs> Have you been out to our boat? I've been toying with the idea of painting it again. Mm. But really, the whole thing is just so gauche. I could do without it. Honestly, I could. Do the take a cut of your tips. Chelsea? Yes. I was asking what you think of the idea. <laughs> I um, think it's a wonderful idea. <laughs> Splendid. See, Kelsey agrees. I'll sing for their first dance. Oh. Audiences alike have said I sound exactly like Céline Dion. Oh. Well, then we're all in for a treat. Um, I'm sure my aunt will love your rendition of My Heart Will Go On. So they offer your benefits? No, they don't offer benefits. How about maternal leave? Who do I have to kill to get a drink around here? No, no, oh, look, you, uh, oh, oh, look who I found. Look, I was looking for you for so long. Um, really? Yeah. <laughs> I should go. Here's my card. Find me a George's. Um, we were just talking about weddings, and, oh. um, yeah, what does your dream wedding look like? Does my future husband own a law firm? The answer is yes. Theme is simple, ice, everyone's on skates. Now I know what you're thinking, where are you gonna find a priest on skates? Well, taken care of. Canada! Okay, then let me stop you, I'll be right back. I just know where to find the penguin. Standard PI work. Go watch the door while I try to get his password. Oh, crap. He's got a lot of security on here. Yeah, weird how people like to protect their financial information. It's okay. I can make an educated guess. And you know him. Help me out here. No. Look, I, I barely know him, okay? Let's just get out of here and we can figure something else out, okay? Look, it's not hard. Guys like this always pick something um, arrogant. All right, come on, think. Breathe this heavily when you do this kind of thing. What am I doing? This is crazy. Uh, try get it all. That's it. <laughs> Should consider doing this full time. <laughs> okay, let's just take what we need and get out of here. Okay. Copying files now. Should just take a minute. Can you make it go faster? Sure. Really? No. Hold on, I've got a ball in my office. That's bad. Uh. Kelsey. What is this? Miss, Mr. Bray, Brannigan. I'm, I'm so sorry, uh, we were just trying to get away, find a quiet place to be alone. You know how women get. Gotta keep them happy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that we do, my boy, that we do. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, thanks.
Ja. What does that mean? Now, Kelsey, tell me why we don't push little boys at the playground. Because a Wilson is a Wilson inside and outside the house. Exactly. Good girl. Now, Kelsey, why don't we yell sexist pig at our school principal? Because a Wilson is a Wilson inside and outside the house. Exactly. Good girl. Kelsey, what do we say about sneaking out in the middle of the night with boys? Mm, make sure we shave our legs first. <laughs> Ugh, don't do it because a Wilson is a Wilson inside and outside the house. Exactly. Good girl. I know, I'm late. Well, I see you didn't bring your newest accessory, Connor. Is this what you call keeping an eye on him? Well, then, sort of. Well, you know, you're a grown woman. I trust you to make wise decisions. You don't want to... Tell me how disappointed you are. Well, what did you any good? <laughs> We're not dating. It, it's complicated, and Mr. Brannigan just. Ugh. Well, my darling, we all need to indulge our sweet tooth every now and again. But Connor McLean is trouble. I know you think he is, but he's actually uh, not that bad, and. I promise there's nothing going between us. Are you trying to convince me or yourself? I have to go. I have to get to Charles Bakery. Um, I don't want to be late for Emily's wedding cake tasting. OK, well, don't let me dampen your newfound enthusiasm for punctuality. <laughs> <laughs> OK. OK. Wait until you taste what Charles made for us. Mm -mm. Honestly, it's garbage. Just no good around the holidays. You should be sentenced to fruitcake for even letting you try it. Oh, Charles, it's incredible. Here, try this. Yeah. Wow. This is honestly the best cake I've ever tried. <laughs> I'm sorry, girls. I'll find you a new baker. No, you won't. I love this, and I love you. Thank you. Mwah. OK, um, I can't watch. I'll leave you to be. And uh, please, give up on me. And don't even try the lemon cake, because I used Eureka lemons like a fool. What was I thinking? <laughs> uh, so, when were you going to tell me about you and Connor? Emily, I'm, I'm so sorry. For what? I want to hear everything. You're not mad? Why would I be mad? Connor and I dated like 10 years ago. Yeah, I just, I thought he left you. <laughs> Kels, we were kids. I mean, I will admit it was strange seeing him again, but when I saw him, I didn't feel anything. He heard I was getting married and he wanted to wish me well. <laughs> so, uh, you're all okay with all of this? Wait, this? There's no this. I'm about to marry the man of my dreams and my best friend is helping that dream come true. I'm always behind you, Kels. Always. Wow. <laughs> this is incredible. I think I found the one. <laughs> hey, look, Eureka lemons and everything. <laughs> I'll tell Cheryl.
I'm out. What? <laughs> no, you aren't. Yeah, this was a mistake, okay? And don't tell me what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I don't even know why I agreed to this in the first place, okay? I love Emily, and I never want to be a part of something that will ruin her wedding. Kelsey, come on. Look, I know you think I'm dumb, but I can see you're just using me to get what you want. Wait, when did I say you're dumb? I know you're smart. That's what I like about you. And you got the thumb drive. I'm only sitting because I want to. And because I want to know what's on the thumb drive. <clears throat> Did you find anything on it? No. Oh. No, it turns out they aren't broke. But that doesn't mean they aren't up to something no good. Three days. You come with me, and we're gonna follow Todd around for three days. And if nothing comes up, I'll call off my investigation and I'll leave town. Promise? Scout's honor. That's not the scout time. Yeah, it's because I was never a scout. <laughs> what do you say? Deal? Mm. Deal. Three days. Deal. Well, I happen to know where Todd's gonna be Wednesday night. He's having dinner at Turbo's. See? We make a good team. <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow. You know, if you're worried about him noticing you, we can always stop and get you more layers. Too much? Nah. Nah. Not unless you don't want to breathe or see or anything <laughs> like that. Truck is cold. What? Oh, I think we have something. What's he doing? Oh. Oh, he's giving money to charity. What a jerk. Oh. Oh, it's probably his guilt eating him up. <laughs> huh? Oh, please. <laughs> what? It's transference. I see it all the time. Whoa, get down. <laughs> Oh, we gotta follow him. Be serious. Do your job. Okay, bye. Get off me. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got something here. Check this out. I've been thinking about when I first met you. When I came to realize that I would never. First date vibe here. Wine? <laughs> oh no, this is no, this uh, we work together. But thank you anyway. Uh, office romance? No, not exactly. Yeah, we're not allowed to date here either. Forbidden love. This calls for a Shiraz. I'll be right back. So. It looks like I'm a pseudo PI. For what it's worth, I'm good at it. At least that's what my partner keeps telling me. Although, this case seems like it's a bust. Tonight's the last night. I think this will be my first and last job. <laughs> Signing off, Kelsey Gumshoe. P.S. I gave myself an old school PI name. <laughs> Love you muchly. Love you muchly? You always read people's texts? Um, sorry. <laughs> Bad habit, I guess. Comes with a job. 
I didn't know you had a boyfriend. I don't. I was texting my mom. Oh. I, I shouldn't pry. She passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry. I'd like to still send her messages. <laughs> Even pay her phone bill. <laughs> Jeez, it must sound really strange. No, hey, we have to keep the people we love close. If that's how she stays with you, then that's how she stays. She was, uh, too sick for a while. Aunt Olivia moved us in with her and helped take care of her. She was actually pretty great. Mm. And Uncle Oliver? Uh. Enjoy. Thank you. He wasn't really around a lot. He was traveling, and whenever he was home, I would always hear him and Aunt Olivia arguing in the other room. I think he thought of us as more of a nuisance. Yeah, sounds like him. I don't think anyone's shown up. <clears throat> Hit a dead end. Yeah, I think so too. You want me to drive you home? Giving up? Seriously? Don't you have like a plan B or something? Well, he's not after him, Mike. I looked into his work. Hate to admit it, but um, I think he might be all right. Mm. Just when I'm starting to enjoy myself. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You're not the pain in the butt I thought you were going to be. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, trying to buy my scone with your mystery gift card? And then stomping over in a huff, demanding I leave the party? Nose all cute and wrinkled. I didn't demand, okay? I... Not to mention the Brannigan's party where you practically attacked me. Don't flatter yourself, okay? I was acting. <laughs> and you weren't really a good kisser, so. Is that so? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't want to, you know, make your feelings, but... Mm. Well, what if... What if we try again? Maybe I can do better. Well, if you want to try and redeem yourself, I mean... How's her Whoa. Good. Whoa. Is it still snowing out there? Uh, that's the woman I saw Todd flirting with at the dress store. Really? Yeah. Wait, is that why you brought me here? Because you didn't tell me about that before. Whoa. No, of course I didn't. You'd think he's like cheating on her or something. Yeah, exactly. I'm a fierce warrior. I will tell him what a no good cheaty is. I might even throw a drink in his face for a dramatic effect. Phyllis, what, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? You're engaged to my cousin. And you're out here on a romantic dinner date with this, this a woman? But by the way, I'm not throwing you any more business. Kels, did you put her up to this? Hey, don't look at him, okay? I saw what you wrote in her book. You went through my book? I can't believe you did this to Emily. Hey, okay? uh, I'm telling her everything. I was buying her dress. <laughs> wow. Kels, it was supposed to be a surprise, okay? That's why I stopped by when you were there. Michelle and I have known each other for years, okay? She set me up with a good deal with the dress, so I thought I'd take her out for dinner to say thank you. My husband actually set this up. That he owns this restaurant. Come on, let's, let's just go. 
Is this what you do, Connor? You spend your whole life trying to ruin Wilson women? I think it was an honest mistake. Kelsey and I let you finish your dinner. I'm sorry. Just walk away, Connor. Yeah, I hear that's what you're best at. Are you trying to ruin your whole life or just this job? How long did it take you to come up with that line? Well, I had the basic line. And then when Charles came over, he helped me perfect it when he delivered the cake. So he brought me here to kick me when I'm down? No, of course not. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I'm so embarrassed. Well, you can't expect yourself to be perfect. Does Emily want to kill me? Luckily, I was able to convince Todd that you were under the spell of handsome green eyes and had no idea what you were doing. She doesn't know? No, and she's not going to. Todd agreed that we should keep this between us and that we could possibly laugh about it when we're older. <laughs> oh. He really is a good guy. Well, I wish you didn't sound so upset about that. It's just he's... he's there's... He's convincing. Who? Oh, come on, Kelsey. I've raised you long enough to know what your looks mean. Even if you can't see, you've fallen for him. I wish you could see what I see. I know he's bullheaded, but he's actually really sweet and kind and kind of... What is that? It's from a check. Your Uncle Albert wrote Christmas Eve ten years ago. Okay. To Connor. Why? To buy him off. He said if he gave him the money, he would go away and never talk to Emily again. So Emily woke up Christmas morning and Connor was gone. And Emily's heart was broken. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, that doesn't sound like him at all. This is from another check that Albert wrote a few months ago before he passed away. Connor was facing him again for money. That's why he's here. Taught it like best as an apology. I think about asking George to make him a fruit basket. Hey, look, I'm, I'm sorry. I should have found out who she was long before I put you in that situation. All right, Kelsey, look, I can explain. Don't bother. Okay, I was just. I knew you were using me. He was such a fool. Listen. I really felt something for you. And I thought we had something special, but I never want to see you again. Please, Kelsey, let me explain, no. okay? You know what? The worst thing is, I don't even hate you. I hate myself for being so stupid.
I've spent the better part of my life wishing for a whirlwind romance. And now I'll use the remainder, wishing I hadn't. I think I'm gonna apply for this sort of position. Well, you don't have the personality or the looks for this fine establishment. I don't know what to do, George. I didn't just blow this case, but I dragged Kelsey right down into it. Maybe there was nothing too fun. Now, either way, she's never gonna talk to me again. Well, wasn't that the whole purpose? I mean, you guys were just working together? <laughs> okay, you want me to say it? Yeah. I think she's incredible, you know? I, I can't stop thinking about her. I couldn't even sleep last night because I knew I was gonna see her this morning. I, <laughs> I feel like I'm a kid at Christmas time. You're so adorable. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that. But if I can't figure out a way to fix this, I'm going to be less adorable and a lot more miserable. Well, you already are miserable. Well, listen, I'm here for you. Anything you need, I got your back. Can I give you some advice? Mm-hmm. Just tell her the truth. I know you taught me to be strong, and I am. Well, I'm trying. If you were here, you'd say, stupid men lose smart women. And you'd stroke my hair until I fell asleep. I have a big day tomorrow. You have no idea how much I miss you. Love you much, Lee. Um, you go to the front and catch Emily's arrival. These, uh, we need more, so just go get more and put them in the back. Okay, no, this, uh, we need, this has five. We need six on each, on each thing. Okay, cool, thanks. Kelsey! Ah, hey, uh, everything all right? Are you kidding? Look at this place. It's like a Christmas dream come true. Oh. <laughs> What'd you do, go through my diary? Uh, no, I definitely didn't do that. Of course you didn't. <laughs> Todd. Hey, I'll catch up to you. Look, what I did was awful, and I can't say sorry enough. And I should have come to you sooner to say thank you for not telling Emily. And Kels, I, I just wanted to say you've done a great job. It really looks like our dream wedding. Really. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you like it. I guess I should get going, though. Emily said if she sees me before the ceremony, I'm dead, and I actually believe her. Okay. Well, she's a very lucky woman. Oh, I'm the lucky one. <laughs> Hey, George, perfect timing. Okay, I just got wind of two more gluten, dairy, carb-free dietary restrictions. Well, good morning to you too, sunshine. But that's something that we won't be worrying about. Yeah, oh, certainly nice to hear your cheery voice in the morning. Well, I heard if you deliver bad news as positively as possible, the person takes it better. How bad, George? Well, the freezer malfunction overnight bad. <laughs> Please say you're kidding. You should really swing by. Okay, do you know anyone we can call? And is there a way we can make like 200 pizzas look fancy? <laughs> Please do me a favor. Just do not kill me because it was actually his idea. And everything is fine. We actually ordered the food and I got your non uh, GMO, the non dairy, and all that kind of nonsense, whatever. George. You want me to go? Okay, yeah. Okay. Good luck. So, is this what you brought me here for? Stand here awkwardly? Sorry, you just... 
You look so beautiful. Don't, okay? You're not allowed. You're right. Okay, look, I, I just wanted to show you this, and then, um, you know, you're free to go. What am I looking at? It's a deed to this restaurant. George was gonna lose this place, and I wanted to help him and his family, so I took what I thought was a loan from Emily's dad. You seriously expect me to believe that? It's the truth. And then when I went back to their house, that... <sighs> he told me never to come back or else he'd tell Emily I blackmailed him. Why didn't you just explain it to her? Emily loved her dad. All that would do would be to force her to choose and as much as I cared about her, I didn't want to destroy a family. What about the rest? What rest? Before my uncle died, you extorted more money from him. Are you going to tell me it was to buy an orphanage or something? Look, that was something. Hey, you know what? I really don't have time for this. And I really don't want to have time for this. And I don't want you anymore. Look, uh, There you are. Where have you been? Oh, sorry, I'm late. Connor tricked me into meeting with him. That's it. I'm gonna sucker punch that man in the mouth. <laughs> well, I appreciate the support. Um, it's okay. I took care of it. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't punch him. Oh. <laughs> I just told him that I never want to see him again. Well, in three hours, my dear, your job will be done. And we can drink all the wine at the reception. Yes. <laughs> 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 Sounds like a solid plan. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, we're closed. Connor, right? Sorry, who are you? You said I could find you at George's. Of course. Please, after you. Okay, smile, you two. Hello. Can I have a moment with the parents of the groom? Why, of course. I don't normally give interviews, but since it's Todd's big day. Mm. Well, thank you. Now, I heard that there's going to be a surprise musical performance. Can you speak to who that might be? <clears throat> Hello, are you with the bride or the groom? Hi, hi. I don't see a ring on your hand. May I interest you in the single section? Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join Emily and Todd in holy matrimony. I ask that if anybody here knows any reason they may not be married, please speak now or forever hold your peace. Very well. Todd Brannigan, do you take Emily Wilson to be Stop! Get out of here. Connor, go away. 
Emily, he's not good for you. Look, if you don't believe me, believe her. That's enough of this. Get them out, both of them. No, let him go. No, don't listen to her. Get them out. Honestly, Tim, this is a little big for you to try to strong arm your way out of. Emily, I'm sorry to do this to you. Don't, don't, don't listen to him. Wait, just stop, both of you. Who is this woman? I... This is Veronica. Brannigan's former maid. Tell me this isn't what it looks like. I have no idea who that woman is. Oh, I think a simple blood test would prove that you do. See, Veronica told Todd that he was gonna be daddy months ago. Instead of buying books and painting the nursery, he decided to ignore her and get married instead. The Brannigan so generously kept her employed through her pregnancy until they found out who the father was. And then they did what any good grandparents would do and fired her. This isn't true. None of this is true. Look me in the eye and tell me this isn't true. Please. Dad. Emily, Emily, Emily. Emily! You can't trust anyone these days. Right, Mr. Brannigan? You're a dead man. If I were you, I would stay focused on taking care of that baby. Stupid Emily. You are not stupid at all, honestly. You are the best person I know. How did I not know? You did everything right. I was gonna be married. I was gonna have kids. I mean, your name one Kelsey. <laughs> you can still have all those things, okay? Don't let one bad guy change what you want. <laughs> what about you? What are you gonna do about Connor? Uh, I have no idea. We should just go to Mexico. <laughs> Ditch everyone. <laughs> I fully support that idea. You did such an incredible job with this wedding. I'm so sorry. No, no, don't you dare apologize, okay? You are my sister. I would do anything for you. Hi. Hey. I'm gonna leave you two alone to chat. And you'd better have the best Christmas present ever for her. Yes, I will. Dear uncle. That's who hired me. Emily's dad, your Uncle Albert. That's what the extra money was for. So 
say you weren't extorting him. No. And he called me near the end. He heard from one of his friends that I was a PI. He said that something didn't feel right about Todd. Now you might not know this, but he's a bit of a control freak. So. He hired me to look into Todd. He said one dirt bag, we best at finding another dirt bag. Guess he was right. You're not a dirt bag. Most of the time. I'm glad you don't think so. <laughs> like I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. That's no, okay. I understand why you didn't. Kelsey, I love you. <laughs> what are you doing? I love you. Okay, so that's what you're doing. You're just gonna walk over up to me and say I love you and then everything's gonna be all right and fixed and perfect? No. Okay, good, because... Uh, oh, we, we, um, we didn't hear a thing. Connor, I am so sorry that I misjudged you. It's okay. I probably would have done the same. Well, this is gonna be the craziest Christmas in family history. <laughs> Successfully planned my first and last wedding ever. It's weird to think when I look back on this day, it's gonna be the best and worst memories together. <laughs> okay, well, um, I'm gonna go tell everyone that the Grinch stole the wedding, so. I'll go. No, no. I'm supposed to be the one that's in charge, so. I'm the head of the family. I'll make the official announcement. Kels, maybe you can ask them to stay. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to make a romantic gesture. Kelsey Wilson, will you marry me? <laughs> You can't do this. We barely know each other. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you let me, I'd like to spend a lifetime fixing that. I... I... Uh... There are times in our lives where we simply must take control. Not given to silly ideas or romantic notions that love conquers all. We have to be grown-ups. All right, shall we try again? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do you, Connor McLean, take Kelsey Wilson to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And do you, Kelsey Wilson, take Connor McLean to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Then by the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. Give me a kiss. Well, Mom, I did it. I planned a wedding, and then I hijacked it. With blessings, of course. I'm not exactly sure where I'm headed, and that is terrifying, but I know that wherever I go, I'll have all the love I need to guide me. And I know that love is unconditional. Love you much, Kelsey.